You'll be informed of any developments in due course. Yeah. When will that be, Chief Inspector? But just give us a few lines, Chief Inspector. Then you can sip some vino and you can read something uplifting and listen to some Mozart. Or isn't it the case that you don't actually know anything? You don't know what's going on, do you? I doubt it, Sergeant. Sir? No details to anyone. He was found at the bottom of a gully and were treating with his murder. I'll speak to the family. Sir? What are they going to say about this? No, 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 no. Listen. Some very bad news for you, Lady Balkan. We found his son. He's dead? Yes, I'm afraid so. We found him at the bottom of a gully on the estate. We're, um, we're treating it as murder. Thank you for telling me, Sergeant. Whatever is going on here, Sergeant? We don't know. I'll take care of it. Thank you, Sergeant. Harry Bulk. You said he was our man. We said we wanted to talk to him. That was all. What are we going to say? That he murdered his father and, in a fit of remorse, threw himself onto a chisel? Yes, what is it, Sergeant? You told me to organise the press, sir. Oh, yes, I did. Thank you, Sergeant. I suppose we'd better get it over, Will. No, I don't think it's wise for you to go down there. What? I've made up my mind. Some of them are intent on ridiculing us through you. I'm not going to give them that chance. But you know what they'll think. They'll think you're too busy trying to catch our killer to waste time at a press conference. Please, ladies and gentlemen, one at a time, please. Can you confirm that Harry Balkan was murdered? Uh, we'll have a fuller picture from the pathologist this evening, but I can't say we're treating it as murder yet. Is there one killer or two? Too early to say. We're keeping an open mind on that. How did he die? Were there any similarities? Oh, I'm sorry, we can't comment on that at the moment. Where's Chief Inspector Morse? Has he been taken off the case? He's out to lunch, studying the wine. Or <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe he's down in the library reading the Who Done It. Yeah. Chief Inspector Morse is very busy with the investigation. He's also a thoroughly professional officer who's held in very high regard. Yeah. So how come the police mortuary is beginning to look like the Balkan family vault? <laughs> <laughs> I'd say he died around 10 a.m. yesterday morning, and I'm pretty sure he was dead before the chisel was stuck into him. Look at this, Morse. That bruise on the neck there, that was the fatal blow. What made it, I don't know, but it snapped the vertebra. Couldn't it be from the fall? I doubt it. Look at the stab wound. If that had killed him, you'd expect to see some bruising around the entry mark. There is none. Now, if the fall had broken his neck, you'd have to assume that the killer then climbed down into the gully, 
and stuck the chisel into him. You're saying his neck was broken, then he was stabbed, then pushed into the gully? That's about it. About it? Is it or isn't it what you're saying? Sir. You're giving an opinion, Morse, as I always do. What the hell's the matter with you, man? The stabbing was unnecessary? Completely. And unless the killer was incredibly stupid, he must have known he was already dead. Anything else? Yes, there is. I examined the chisel before I sent it to forensic. There were some initials scratched on it. The initials were SF. Thank you. Bring in any more and we'll soon have a full kit of tools. Sir, don't you think you should lighten up a bit? What? Well, the pathologist. There was no need for that. He was doing his best. Don't you tell me how to behave. Don't. For God's no. sake! No, Lewis, no. Two people are dead, and I have to find whoever's responsible. Me. And me? But they're not after you, are they? They're not making fun of you. They like you, Lewis. You can sit up there and talk to them. Well, someone's got to do it. And it's not easy. Sooner, but I oh, there was no need. For me to ask for sympathy would be hypocritical. You should know that better than anyone. Would you uh, like some coffee? No, 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 thank you. I had expected to find Inspector Morse in the house. Oh? Well, after everything that's happened, I mean. He did call to see James. He's here, James? No, he's in London. Gone to play with his new toy. He has it all to himself now, Alfred. <laughs> Do you like it, Chief Inspector? Oh, yes. I'm afraid I can only look at them. I can't really see them, if you get my meaning. I can afford the products of genius, Chief Inspector, but I can't grasp the quality that makes them what they are. Ironic, isn't it? That's not a capacity we're born with, Mr. Morgan. No. But you'll agree it's a side of ourselves that has to be encouraged if it's to develop. My father would permit no such diversions. Perhaps he was right to do so. Your aesthetic sense seems to be causing you no end of trouble, Chief Inspector. You're on the inside today. Does it bother you? Yes, it does. Well, look, on the bright side, you could be me. My brother and my father have been murdered. That's real persecution. That's what we need to talk about, Mr. Balcom. It's now clear that your family is the killer's target. Can you think of anything, anything at all, that might drive someone to these extremes? I'm sorry, Chief Inspector. At the moment, I can think of nothing. Then I urge you to think harder, Mr. Bockham. Do the initials SF mean anything to you? SF. Again, nothing immediately. It's possible they're the initials of whoever's doing this. We don't know. There'll be a police guard on your house until we've caught the killer, Mr. Bockham. In the meantime, if you think about what I've said, and let me know if anything occurs to you. I will, most certainly. Chief Inspector, message for you from Mr. Rydale. Could you call at his house when you get back to Oxford? Thank you. we 
last spoke, Chief Inspector, I was less than honest with you. Concerning what, sir? The Curzon Company was moving into Eastern Europe. They were planning a partnership with Reed Electronics. We found that out for ourselves, sir. Why didn't you tell us before? I wasn't supposed to know. Harry told me. He was against it. Asked if I'd help him prevent it. I did. But in doing so, I compromised myself professionally. <laughs>